taking the food and beverage industry to where we believe it needs to go. Um, understanding the situation that our consumers find themselves in, uh, the lifestyle, uh, the, the changes occurring in their environment, um, the, the education that they have, their, their socio-economic conditions, and designing our products to meet those needs absolutely for today. We absolutely want to continuously improve. We absolutely want to meet today's consumers' needs because that's what our businesses are about. Understanding all those needs and then working together to solve it is, is the only way forward. Constantly challenging, uh, a, a real mindset of continuous improvement in the things that we do. And, and it has to be deliberate. It has to be with, a, with an end game in mind, trying to make products as, as good and as healthy and as positive um, for body and mind. So treat um, or health uh, fit well within our, our scope. But it's understanding that and continually trying to improve what we do and making it appropriate for consumers for today. That's, that's a very much a part of the role that we as leaders should be taking. What are we doing um, to really try to make a difference, to try to give the consumer um, the right alternatives, the right solutions? Uh, and, and I would also say the right information. And I think the, the challenge for us is to find the right balance. And for, for most food manufacturers, we therefore have to work really hard on our offer. We have to continuously, continuously try to improve it. We have to have the balance. We've got a lot of consumers that still like treat. We've got a lot of consumers that love taste. And I don't know many consumers that will eat or drink a product that doesn't taste great. But equally, we have to try to create products that we know are going to help their current environment, their, their situation. So our job is to try to do all of those things, meet the needs for all of the consumers. So you must have the appropriate level of choice. I don't think you can stay in the one zone, particularly if you're a large manufacturer, just make treat or just make healthy. Um, you've got to try to understand the consumer. People believe we put profits before people. Um, I, I would have to say that um, that's not true because most of us want our businesses to be around for the long term. A bit like a, the, the, uh, the all black rugby jersey story. There's been a lot of people have come before us and there's gonna be a lot of people that, that, that come after us that wear this jersey, or in our case, that follow in our footsteps in our businesses. So as, as CEOs and industry leaders of, of food companies, we know we have to leave the business better than what we found it. If we take a short term perspective that just says I'm here to make profit today and I don't care about the impact on the consumer, I genuinely believe at the end of the day the consumer will start to choose against you and you will lose business because you're not understanding people and their needs and you're not satisfying them. You're focusing on just the profit. I think profit comes from meeting consumer needs well and most of us know that. Um, and I think it's naive, to be honest, to, to say that we only care about profits because it's a very, very short-term view, and that's not our game. Part of the task we have is to help with the education that consumers have. So our pack information, um, the quality of the ingredients, the types of ingredients, to let the, the consumer be able to make more choice, that education on pack is, is highly relevant and we have to work hard at that and, and of course we are. Um, the health star rating system is an example. Um, the, um, the daily intake, uh, average intake um, uh, thumbnails, they're the types of things that we have to do, the, the, the back of pack information panels. Equally, uh, I believe we should be out there playing our part in educating um, right at the coalface, in schools, with education programs, um, making sure that we help consumers make the right choices, the appropriate choices, and those choices at the right times. Because again, a treat is fine at a point in time, but equally a good healthy diet for the rest of the time is still important too. So we have to find ways to give them that information and provide them with the choice and the appropriate solution to their, to their need. Mm -hmm.